Welcome to this tutorial on how to add a Google file into Oak's content. Now, by Google file, I mean anything really within your Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to describe the proper share settings from a Google file and add that file into your content. Let's get started. I'm going to begin in my Oak's content, and I get to it by clicking on the content link in the upper navigation. And from here, I'm going to select Module 1, Readings. What I would like to add is this Google Doc into my Oaks content. And this is going to work the same way, whether it's a Google Doc, Slide, Sheets, etc. So you want to start in your Google Doc. And from here, I'm going to click the blue Share button in the upper right corner. Now, by default, if you're not seeing this, choose this Get Shareable Link button and it should open up this view. And by default, it reads anyone at College of Charleston with the link can view. This is fine, but what it will do is require your students to log into their Google account first. And that's just an added barrier to them getting to your content. So I would recommend that instead, you select the drop down arrow next to this setting and come down and choose more. We want anyone with the link to be our selection, and we want to make sure that access is listed as can view as opposed to can edit and can comment, because we want our students to only be able to read this document but not change it in any way. Now the reason I'm choosing anyone with the link is so that the students don't have to log in. Now this file will not be searchable on the internet, it's only accessible through your Oaks class or through the link that you give to someone else. So after I've selected anyone with the link plus can view, I'll click save. And now I'll choose the copy link button here on the right to copy this web link. I'll now choose done in the lower left corner. And now from my web browser, I'm going to navigate back into my Oaks course. And from here, I'll choose the blue new button and create a link. Under title, I'll type the name of the document. And in the URL, I'm just going to paste the link that I copied from that document. And I'll click the blue Create button in the lower left hand corner. Now you'll see that it brings it up and shows me the preview here within Oaks. And the students can now navigate through and read this document.